Thank you once again to Frank Rocket for joining us on behalf of the Queenie Humane Society. Now we're off to Sterling to learn more about a musical instrument lending program. And joining us is Shane Slimmon as a part of this non-for-profit group. Jane, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me, Lindsay. All right, Shane, so how did this get started? Because it's fantastic to hear another way for kids and families to be able to pick up some instruments. That's uh, pretty much exactly how it started with that thought. There's, uh, there's lots of mills that are around, but none that really serve the, uh, the Quinney, Belleville, um, North and Maydock area kind of deal. So uh, there was a few people that put their heads in time together and pieced up uh, some proposal plans and, and got it off and running about a year and a half ago now. Nice. And curbside pickup right now, you mentioned on Instagram, 43 West Front Street. Is that still going to be happening going forward for the curbside pickup site? It is. Yeah, it's uh, every Wednesday from 3 until 6 p.m. Um, we can do pickups, drop-offs. Uh, if there's an instrument you like at sterlingmill.ca, you can reserve it as long as you're a patron. And, uh, and you can come pick up an instrument ready to go for you every Wednesday. Perfect. So $30 a year, though, to be a patron and the family plan. Could you explain that one for us? Yeah, the family plan allows you to have more than one instrument taken at a time. Um, up to three um, for, uh, what is it, three weeks. And uh, you're able to renew it as well. So say you borrow a drum set, a guitar, and a keyboard um, for your, your family. You can take it for, for three weeks and then if you want to renew it and keep it longer you're allowed to do that up to two more times and uh, just have a lot of fun learning to play something new something different grab a cello uh, violin tuba we got a trombone those are fun uh, absolutely anything at all take it home and, and just either you know if you just want to bother your parents or your neighbors you can do that <laughs> um, but it's just something really great to expand on uh, on what uh, what you can do musically or even just try out musically if it's something you've been interested in but don't quite have the money to buy something new or new you can pay thirty dollars for a, a single membership even and, uh, and just borrow one at a time and uh, see what suits you Perfect. So the next long range hustle or solo singer songwriter Miles Deck could be lurking in Sterling as well. Exactly. Shane, when it comes to the amount of instruments you have, how many number of instruments are you dealing with right now? We got hundreds of them. Um, we have a, a few drum sets, tons of ukuleles, uh, tons of recorders, electric guitars, acoustic guitars, um, congas. Uh, auto harps, um, keyboards, synthesizers. It's uh, it's all based on donations. So whatever uh, whatever some kind-hearted people have donated to the mill for us to use, we try and fix up and uh, and get uh, player ready and uh, and put it in our our system and and we're ready to go. Huge huge list on the SterlingMill.ca website to browse through as well. All right, $30 though for the membership, Shane, where does that money go and how does that help you out right now? Uh, the money from our patrons goes straight back into, uh, into repairs for the instrument, um, you know, parts like strings, every once in a while guitars need restrung, drum sets need new skin, um, clarinets and everything will need like reeds for them, sometimes they need to have their pads replaced. Um, so it goes to a lot of upkeep. Uh, now, we, we do rely a lot on donors um, who, can, uh, who can sponsor some money and, uh, and donate to us to help us keep rolling that way. We have tons of volunteers. Um, the board is all volunteer-based. Um, we actually have a young lady named Denisa, uh, who's 16, who loves the mill. Um, you can see her in some of the pictures. She actually, I think, runs the Instagram page. Um, she is a musical prodigy. She's absolutely unbelievable. Uh, great little singer and dancer as well. And uh, so happy to have uh, the great volunteers that we have with us. How did you get involved with the Sterling Mill personally? Uh, through my work, actually. I work at Alarm Systems. And we were doing um, 
quarterly, we make a donation to a nonprofit and I sponsored the mill. Um, so we had to make a pledge for them and, uh, and do a speech to the company. And then everyone voted. And back at Christmas time last year, everyone voted for the mill. And, uh, I went, met with James and, uh, he gave the donation check to them and I was hooked. I, uh, Right from, right from the first time I walked in, I was like, this place is amazing and I want to be a part of it. I want to see it grow. Uh, it, it's something that was not around when I was a kid and I really wish it was because uh, I had that eagerness to want to learn something and, uh, and yeah, it just wasn't there. Yeah, I wish it was around too when I was younger as well. But Shane, where does the Sterling Mill operate out of usually outside of the pandemic and what's happening right now? It, uh, it's inside the Sterling Library. Um, we are on the second floor at the very far, I believe, west end of the library. Uh, a little nook. Um, we are looking to actually branch out more into uh, distant levels. Um, so branching out to like the Belleville Library, Trent Library, uh, Workworth Library, um, to arrange times maybe once or twice a month to uh, to drop off instruments there for, for patrons who have signed up. Um, we are actually going to start doing, uh, actually, Miles Depp just did a, a drumming uh, online tutorial over the weekend and said he had so much fun. Uh, had a mother and daughter from Scotland who joined in, which so neat that it like went that far. Um, so we, we are going to try and find uh, some more opportunities to do some fundraising. Um, now that things are kind of slowly opening up again where we're thinking of doing uh some some musical shows kind of thing uh at different areas to to highlight some some talent and bring awareness with the mill along with it all right well the power of music that miles deck feature uh, was fantastic over the weekend more information though shane on where we can go for more information on the sterling mill but also keep up with the videos where do we all click uh you can go to the sterling mill on facebook uh, type in Sterling Mill, M-I-L-L, -L, uh, Music Instrument Lending Library. And uh, you can follow us on Facebook, also sterling.mill on Instagram. Uh, and sterlingmill.com uh, will be the main page, and that's where you can find out a bit more of the history and, and what we do. Uh, we're working on a newsletter as well to send out to patrons to keep them up to date um, with, with the happenings that are all things mill. All right, another avenue to get kids back into music once again. Shane Slimman, as a part of the Sterling Mill organization, the Music Instrument Lending Program. Uh, learn more on his also site, but also 91X will have information as well. Thanks, Shane. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Lindsay. Have a good day.